Hello everyone. Today we have a different kind of video for you. We're going to do our top five field hockey tips that we filmed with our pro players in the last five years. <laughs> So, at number five, we have Eddie Way's tutorial of sweep passing, and in particular, our number five tip is getting as low as possible during the sweep pass. I feel like this is something that most people rush and they don't actually get as low as they can, but it really helps. Take a look at Eddie explaining this better than I ever can, and pay particular attention to his knee. His knee gets very, very close to the AstroTurf. The best chance, the most reliable um, way to sweep the ball is just keep low as possible for as long as possible, and that means your hands as well. Yeah, so the longer the stick is on the floor, and the more the stick is on the floor, is the better. It's also more reliable. And at number four, we have a very new tip. It's one of our more recent videos, which is about field hockey shooting. This tip comes from Matt Ramshaw, and it's the aim small tip. I, for one, definitely just aim where the goalkeeper isn't and often forget about aiming small, but this really helps you become a better striker. We'll let Matt explain further. <laughs> So I'm aiming, I try to aim for like the smallest spot in the goal, so I'll like pick a pick like the tightest bit of a corner and then aim for that. But yeah, I aim for the smallest spot and then like because you've got such a small margin of error, it's more likely to be hitting that spot. If you aim for a big sideboard, like it's like to go maybe a metre wide, left or right. Whereas if you aim for a little spot, it's maybe only like 50 centimetres either side. And at number three, it's from our hugely popular defensive tips video. This comes from Eddie Way, and he mentions about dictating where you want the attacker to go and not having it the other way around. Eddie will explain further. First point. First thing I'd say is you want to dictate what the attacker does. So the way I do this is choose a direction for them to go and then almost point my feet in, a, in that way. Yeah. Uh, so I'm running with them instead of running against them. Taking up the second spot is to get as low as possible during the release of a drag flick. This has massively helped me personally understand the movement and technique of the drag flick, but watch in this clip the green line of Eddie Way's chest. It's an interesting tip that I think improves your drag flicks dramatically, so take a watch. Step three. So after you've done this and after you've done the, the crossover step, you're looking to get as low as possible at the point of release, not at the start. So a lot of people will come in and stay really low and then when they release the ball they'll come up. It's pointless, you've just wasted going down. So you might as well just save your energy. You can stay upright when you get the ball, but then when you're releasing the ball, you're as low as possible. And taking up the final spot, because I think every player can really improve on this and it makes a huge difference wherever you play on the pitch. And that's when dribbling to not stay at one pace, but to change your pace up, move from fast to slow. I think during match situations, we all forget this a bit and tend to go at one pace throughout most of the game. But this is something small that I think really makes a difference to turn you from a good player to a great player. We'll let Rohan do the talking. This is from the Dribbling Tips video, which is also one of our newest videos. It's a lot harder to defend when you're going at pace, but not just that, when it's a change of pace. So starting off slow or at like a slower speed and then change of direction and change of pace really can help you beat the defender more easily. And that's it everyone. Did you agree with the top five? Are there any more crown tips that you think were your personal favorites? Let us know what videos you want us to film in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and see you later everyone. Keep safe. Bye-bye.